see this question it says a rigid wire loop of square shape having side length l and resistance r this is the resistance for the complete loop we are just uh, indicating it at one point at t is equal to 0 the right edge of the loop enters the region of the length 3l there is a magnetic field region here which has got a length of 3l this loop enters the right edge here t is equal to 0 and it enters for sufficiently large initial velocity v naught the loop eventually cross the region when it enters there may be a force acting on it which will oppose its motion for that opposition of the motion this velocity will get retarded okay but they say this v initially is so high that eventually it is able to cross the region and come here so v o the loop eventually cross the region let x be the location of the right edge of the loop okay this let velocity x this is current and f represent the velocity current in the loop and force on the loop respectively as functions of x function of x it is moving in the direction of x so where the x has a direction this is direction of x it's moving which of the following schematic plot is or are correct okay we ignore the gravity now there are four graphs given and we have to find out which of these graphs is a correct graph or more than one graphs are the correct now see the quantities of the graph this is current versus distance distance travel this is voltage versus distance this is vx is what uh, let me see vx represent velocity of the loop vx velocity of the loop okay force on the loop fx fx is force so this is graph for the force this is graph for velocity this is graph for current and this is also graph for current so there are the four graphs we have to check all the four graphs and find out which is not possible and which is possible and we have to give the answer which are correct okay now let's try one and the other the first graph is i versus x we have to see what's happening when the loop enters here there is no flux here when it start entering the flux enters the loop there is a change in the flux linked to the loop and we know according to faraday's law if there is a change in the flux linked to a loop an emf is generated and a current start flowing in the loop what is the direction of that current for direction of the current for direction of the current we can have a right hand rule how right hand rule see the flux is entering so what it will try to do it will try to make a magnetic flux in opposite direction this flux is inside and this will try to its current will try to make a flux which will have magnetic field coming out this is magnetic field coming in so this will flow a current in which magnetic field will be opposite to this direction in this direction because it is opposing it that is the nature that is the law so Lenz's law we apply here and Lenz's law says the direction of current will be such which will oppose this now if we want to make a magnetic field in this direction use your right hand magnetic field be, to be created in this direction thumb so what is the direction of current this loop gives the direction of current 
this is anti clockwise and anti clockwise current that is counter clock current is positive so when it is entering this area the current is positive and now we check our graphs for the current this and this here positive starting positive starting so this portion is correct now is the current increasing or decreasing in both it is decreasing must be right because when it enters initially what happens to velocity the velocity here is v not when the moment it enters a current start flowing in it when a current start flowing in it a force start acting on it and we know the force rule given by left hand this is direction of magnetic field the current we have just decided is going this way this is the force the force will be in this direction and now if there is a force in this direction this is force if force is in this direction what will happen to this velocity answer this velocity will go on decreasing and if the velocity decrease the rate of change of flux will also decrease and if the rate of change of flux will decrease then emf and the current will also decrease so when it enters the current is positive and the current goes on decreasing which graph shows this initial the current is positive the current is positive current is decreasing current is decreasing so up to this l both are correct okay now after that what happens this loop is completely in this when the loop is here it is full of flux loop is here it is again full flux loop is here again it is full flux from this position to this position this position to this position there is no change in flux if there is no change in flux no emf is induced no current is formed the current remains zero so l to 1l to 3l the current is zero l to 3l current is zero l to 3l current is zero so up to this oh yes both are correct now in the third part this shows positive current this shows negative current and here is our test when it is coming from this position and comes out what is happening to the magnetic flux the answer magnetic flux is decreasing and what is lange's law says lange's law says if magnetic flux is decreasing the loop will try to supplement it because it does not like change so it when it is decreasing it will try to make a magnetic field so that there is no decrease so in which direction this will make this will make magnetic field inside while this was making a magnetic field outside because it wanted to oppose the increase now it wanted to oppose the decrease so if wants to oppose the decrease it will make magnetic field inside if it is making a magnetic field inside then inside inside what should be the direction of current right hand this is magnetic field inside so this is direction of the current this direction makes it clockwise if the current here is clockwise here it was anti clockwise so if current here is clockwise we say it has become negative this is important be sure of it now if the current is negative this graph shows 3l to 4l again current is positive this shows from 3l to 4l current is negative and what we have decided current is negative this is negative current so this portion is correct this portion is not correct so now this is right 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 this is our right answer for of the current current these two and here you can see initially the change will be large and finally when it has come out fully the change has become less therefore current has decreased this current has large value and this current has less value so out of these two this is our one right option we got one right option d now two more graphs we have to check this is velocity yes 
and now we will discuss the variation of force with respect to x. See here, when it enters the direction of current is clockwise. So, this side of the loop and this magnetic field that interact, this is out, it will not interact. So, we take this direction of current. Okay, you have we have already done that current here will be in up direction. Okay, now if the current is in this direction, what will be the force? We will use left hand, the magnetic field inside, current above, and force is in this direction. This force is negative. So the initial force is negative. Then when it enters because of this force, the velocity goes on decreasing. If the velocity decreases, then the current will also decrease because the current depends upon velocity. Okay. So, if the current decreases, what will happen to force? Force will further decrease. That means, when it enters, initially there was a force and that force goes on decreasing because the current is decreasing and this sign was negative. So, initially there was negative force and it goes on decreasing, decreasing, decreasing and when this come here, the current become zero, there is no change in the force here. Initially force is negative and it goes on decreasing. So, this portion is correct. Force was negative and when it enters, the force goes on decreasing. And here, 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 in this three, there is no current, the force is also zero because the force is I L B. So, the force will become zero from L to 3 L. From L to 3 L, the force has become zero. Now, when it goes out, what happens? When it goes out, there is a reduction in the magnetic flux and this loop, according to Lange's law, will try to maintain the magnetic flux. If it tries to maintain the magnetic flux, that means it will make a magnetic field in this direction. To make a magnetic field in this direction, what should be the direction of current? Right hand rule, magnetic field inside the current will be clockwise. This is the direction of current, this, 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 this. Now when it is leaving, this portion has come out of the magnetic field and this portion is inside the magnetic field. If this is inside the magnetic field, this is outside the magnetic field, the force will be applicable on which one? The answer the one which is in the magnetic field because for force we also need magnetic field. This is not in the magnetic field, out. This is perpendicular, this is not in the direction, out. So, this will be responsible for the force and what will be the direction of, what will be the direction of force here? The magnetic field inside, the current is going up and this is the force, this is the force. If this is the force, then this force has a direction what? Negative. Like it was here negative, this is also here negative. But in this we find the force is positive. It is not negative, so this portion is wrong. This is correct, this is correct, but this is not correct. Therefore, C is not correct. Now, we will see B. B is velocity. Initial, it has a velocity V naught, correct? This portion is V naught. Now, when it enters, there is a force in this direction, velocity goes on decreasing till the flux is entering and the current is flowing. Velocity goes on decreasing because of continuous application of force. So, till it reaches L, the velocity goes on decreasing, it was positive, it goes on decreasing, correct? Right. Then here the force becomes 0, force is 0, force is 0. 
करेंट इज जीरो फोर्स इज जीरो करेंट इज जीरो फोर्स इज जीरो करेंट इज जीरो फोर्स इज जीरो सो देर इज नो चेंज इन वेलासिटी एल टू थ्री एल नो चेंज इन वेलासिटी करेक्ट देन वेन इट कम्स आउट द फोर्स इज अगेन वी हैव सीन इन दिस डायरेक्शन If the force is opposite to the direction of velocity, velocity is in this direction. If force is opposite to velocity, then the velocity again goes on decreasing till it comes out. So the velocity again goes on decreasing till it comes out. So this is also correct. All three portions are correct. So this graph is correct. So what is our answer now? Our answer is B is correct and D is correct. so b and d are the correct options that will be our answer to this thank you